Hi, welcome to my professional um, e-portfolio. Um, I want to take this opportunity to kind of introduce to you um, my portfolio through this video tour. First, in the general info page here, um, you will find links to all of the other um, pages that you can find information on. These are also highlighted as drop downs up at the top. So you can use either these links or you can use these as well. Also on the general information page is um, links to the ISTE standards, the International Society of Technology and Education standards. The drop down here will show you links to the different types of standards that I have used. In the candidate info page, um, this shows you a little bit more about who I am as a learner and a leader. Um, my leadership and technology philosophies are linked here as well as my resume. My intro video here um, tells a little bit about my, more about myself and a little bit about my educational journey. As you scroll, you will see my exploration, exploration stage of a reflection. This is um, kind of my preconceived notions about um, this course in general and going into the portfolio process. Um, and how I was feeling going into this um, semester. At the bottom here is professional goals and personal goals. I think it is important to have both professional and personal goals so that we don't um, become too focused on one or the other um, and that we don't become stagnant um, as an educator. I also have here where I see myself in two years, five years, and 10 years. Um, right now I love the classroom, um, I cannot see myself leaving in the near future, um, but if the right job presents itself, I wouldn't hesitate to kind of jump on that, um, especially in, in the field of technology. My technology philosophy is next, and this highlights what I see as important when it comes to technology use in the classroom. At the bottom here, you'll see the Google Doc link. Um, this is if you would like to make any comments or see it as a Google Doc version. My leadership philosophy is also linked here. This philosophy has been ever evolving. Um, the more time that I spend in leadership and the more leadership roles that I take on, I previously have felt that certain personalities are natural leaders and that I was not one of those. After taking a class in educational leadership, as well as beginning to read the book, Leading Together, Teachers and Administrators Improving Student Outcomes um, as a Building Leadership Team, I realized that I do have a personality for it. It's just that my style might look different. Again, at the bottom here is a Google Doc link for my leadership philosophy. You will also find my resume listed here under the candidate information tab. Moving on to um, activity evidence. This tab is where you will find work that I have done in this program as well as um, what I've learned through um, to become a technology integrationist someday in my future. I have created a professional development plan that highlights what I view as important to train my staff on to become better educators. I also have evidence here of face-to-face -face trainings that I have done with staff and students. Under the other resources, you will find research articles that I have created summaries on, as well as program resources that I have created throughout my time in the MIT program. I'm going to just kind of highlight some of these and take you through each page to show you what they look like for your viewing later. This is my professional development plan. Um, and this is what a year would look like if I were to implement this plan in my current school district. Here's a Pear Deck um, staff training that I did for staff members 5th through 12th grade. Um, this is the video of the training um, live. This is the Pear Deck link. This is what my staff members would have seen on their computers. And here's the Google Slides version of what I created my Pear Deck to look like. I also did an inquiry training for my social studies staff um, K-12. So you'll find the video the Pear Deck link again, as well as the Google Slides. I toured my students through Flipgrid. 
Um, so we kind of did a Flipgrid 101. Um, they were trained on the different elements of Flipgrid and how to enhance their videos. Here's the Pear Deck link again, as well as the Google Slides. I had did three article summaries or article reviews, um, technology enabled personalized learning, technology functions for personalized learning in learner-centered classrooms or learner-centered schools, and um, use of iPads as, as assistive technology for students with disabilities. My extra resources here, these are the things that I have created through my MIT program. Using versus integrating technology, an ancient China um, kind of Google Earth um, web quest. It's a graphic organizer for that. Um, a video on FERPA, which is privacy um, information. A getting to know you interest survey. Uh, research on one-to-one -one devices in one-to-one um, -one device environments. Google for education video, a video tour through Google Expeditions, social media in the classroom, and instructional design models. This tab, you will be able to find peer review forms as well as faculty review um, of my portfolio. And last but not least is my reflection. Um, my reflection is about where this program has led me and how my practicum experience will benefit me in the future. I reviewed my um, preconceptions about taking the practicum and new learnings about myself and who I am as a learner and a leader. I hope you enjoy taking a look through my portfolio.